When it comes to proper equipment maintenance, applying grease to those grease fittings is an important factor. I've got a tractor that takes a lot of grease and a lot of time each time I go out there to take care of it. So the question is, will a lithium powered grease gun make a big difference? We have five different brands to test today, so let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. In the first test, we'll see which grease gun pumps grease the fastest. We'll also see which grease gun pumps the fastest with 150 PSI resistance. We'll see which grease gun achieves the highest pressure. At a price of only $90, the least expensive grease gun we'll be testing is this Performance Tool brand. Powerful 18 volt battery, ergonomical design, 42 inch professional grade flex hose, one hour quick charger, we're gonna test that. Two 18 volt rechargeable batteries, heavy duty plastic storage case, heavy duty motor over 7,500 PSI of force, we're gonna test that. Performance Tool has 1,500 milliamp hour NICAD batteries. Grease dispensed, approximately 75 grams per minute. One year limited warranty. Performance Tool is made in China. Owner's manual, battery charger, two NICAD 1.5 amp hour batteries, shoulder strap. All the grease guns have brushed electric motors. Some of the other brands have legs to keep the tool in an upright position and keep the tool off the ground. Unfortunately, Performance Tools just doesn't have that option. So if you have to lay your tool down, unfortunately, this thing is probably gonna pick up some dirt. Performance Tool weighs 7.2 pounds, 3.3 kilograms. At a price of $144 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Ryobi One Plus. Maximum pressure is 10,000 PSI. Maximum flow rate up to 7.5 ounces per minute. Onboard LED work light helps illuminate the workspace. Performance Tool brand had a 42 inch hose. The Ryobi has a 30 inch. Air bleeder valve quickly primes the pump and reduces air pockets. Lock on lock off trigger helps avoid workplace mess. Three year limited warranty. The Ryobi is made in China. I'll be using a 1.5 amp hour battery in the Ryobi. Operator's manual. This is the trigger lock. Air bleeder valve. I really like the tool stand that Ryobi has built into this tool, which keeps the tool up off the ground. It also has a holder for the hose to keep it from getting in the dirt if you have to lay the tool down. Ryobi weighs 7.8 pounds, 3.5 kilograms. At a price of $163 for just the grease gun and not the battery and charger is this DeWalt brand. 20 volt lithium ion. Max pressure 10,000 PSI or 690 bar. Max volume is five ounces per minute. 42 inch hose length. Three year limited warranty. One year full service and 90 day money back guarantee. Made in the USA with global materials. Shoulder strap. Instruction manual. If the DeWalt encounters a grease clog, the pressure release valve is supposed to open up at 10,000 PSI. The DeWalt has a trigger lock. Just like Roby, DeWalt has done a great job creating a tool stand for this tool to keep it up off the ground as well as a holder for the grease nozzle. The DeWalt weighs 8.8 .8 pounds, four kilograms. At a price of $164 for just the tool and not the battery and battery charger is this Milwaukee brand, M18 cordless two-speed grease gun. The Milwaukee has two speeds and the first speed, 10,000 PSI, second speed, 5,000 PSI. The flow rate is 3.5 ounces per minute in the first speed, 10 ounces per minute in second speed. Roby has a 30 inch hose, the DeWalt and Performance Tool have a 42 inch hose, the Milwaukee has a 48 inch hose. Preset grease counter. Shuts down tool when the preset amount of grease is dispensed. The on setting allows the tool to run freely without restriction. Five year warranty. The Milwaukee is made in China. Operator's manual. I'll be using a five amp hour battery in the Milwaukee. Preset for determining how much grease is dispensed. Milwaukee's done a great job designing this tool to keep the tool up off the ground if you have to set it down. The Milwaukee weighs 9.4 pounds, 4.3 kilograms. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing is this Ingersoll Rand brand, which costs $273 for the tool, the battery, and the charger. 20 volt, 2.5 amp hour battery. Battery charger. Operator's manual. 30 inch hose. Ingersoll Rand is rated for 7,500 PSI. The Ingersoll Rand does not have a light and it does not have a trigger lock. Tool and battery made in Taiwan, charger made in China. The Ingersoll Rand comes with a three year warranty. So if you're out working, you have to lay this tool down. Unfortunately, it's gonna be laid on the ground where it's probably gonna collect some dirt. Additionally, the Ingersoll Rand doesn't have a holder for the grease nozzle. Ingersoll Rand weighs 7.4 pounds, 3.4 kilograms. The sound meter is 24 inches from the tool, 79 decibels for performance tool. The Ryobi was slightly louder than performance tool at 80 decibels. DeWalt is the quietest yet at 75 decibels. Milwaukee is the loudest yet at 81 decibels. Ingersoll Rand is the quietest tool at 72 decibels. Up next, let's test the pump speed of the brands in a 30 second test without any sort of load. To serve as our control, I'll see how well I can do with a pistol grip grease gun. 48 pumps in 30 seconds. 
The cup weighs nine grams, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear it with the cup. 39 grams, which is about 1.3 ounces. Let's load some grease into the Performance Tool grease gun and then we'll test it. Depress the follower key and pull back on the follower handle until the rod is fully extended. Once the follower rod is pulled out far enough, you just rotate it to the right and there's a little slot cut in the rod which will allow it to remain in the out position. Remove the replaceable cap from the end of the grease cartridge. Insert that end into the grease gun barrel. It should rest on the rubber plunger at the bottom of the barrel. Remove the pull tab or the foil from the exposed end of the cartridge. Push the follower rod forward into the grease tube assembly. Purge the air from the head. There's an air purge button that you have to use in order to prime the pump. While running the pump, press in and release the air purge button several times until the grease gun is primed. The air purge valve worked well and it took less than 10 seconds to purge the air and prime the pump. Performance Tool Brand claims 75 grams per minute. It actually did better than promised delivering 39 grams in 30 seconds, which works out to 78 grams in a minute or two and three quarter ounces. Lock the trigger switch in the off position and remove the battery pack. Turn the grease tube counterclockwise to loosen and remove. Pull the spring-loaded grease tube handle completely out. Then move it to the side into the narrow slot to lock it into place. Insert the grease tube cartridge into the grease tube with the bottom facing the grease tube handle. Place the grease tube back into the grease gun and rotate clockwise to secure. Grab the grease tube handle and move it away from the narrow slot. Slowly allow the grease tube handle to move forward and into the grease tube. After the cartridge is loaded, use the purge valve to purge any air trapped in the grease tube. To purge the grease gun, just open up the purge valve, go ahead and power up the tool for a second or two, go ahead and close the valve and power up the tool again to see if it's purged. Repeat this process a couple times to purge all the air from the tool. I was able to purge the Ryobi without using the purge valve. The battery in the Ryobi is fully charged. Wow, the Ryobi's a lot faster than the Pistol Grip Grease Gun in the Performance Tool brand. Performance Tool brand produced 64 pumps in 30 seconds, and the Ryobi did quite a bit better at 162. 114 grams, or 4 ounces, for the Ryobi. Ryobi claimed 7.5 ounces per minute, but it actually did even better than advertised at 4 ounces in 30 seconds, which works out to 8 ounces in a minute. Pull the grease tube handle out as far as it'll go, then secure the grease tube rod into the retaining slot by moving the rod to the side. Unscrew the grease tube assembly from the grease gun. Thread the grease tube assembly back into the grease gun and screw it in securely. One thing nice about the DeWalt is there's this rubber bushing between the tool itself and the grease tube which is going to line up the grease tube with the tool to prevent it from being cross-threaded. Release the grease tube rod from the retaining slot and slowly press it back into the tube. Use the purge valve to bleed any air off that may be trapped in the cartridge. The battery is fully charged. DeWalt is also fast, but definitely not as fast as the Ryobi. 63 grams for DeWalt. DeWalt claims your grease gun pumps 5 ounces per minute, but the one I'm testing only produced 4.4. Remove the battery pack. Pull back the rod and push it sideways into the retaining slot. Unscrew and remove the barrel. Insert the cartridge open end first into the barrel. Just like the DeWalt, the Milwaukee also provides a fairly tight fit between the tool itself and the grease tube to prevent cross-threading. Release the rod from the retaining slot and press it completely into the barrel. To prime the grease gun, insert the battery pack. Push the priming valve until all the air is escaped. Pull the trigger for 10 to 20 seconds. The battery in the Milwaukee is fully charged and I'm starting the test in first gear and then we'll test it in second gear. Milwaukee's first gear seems to be about as fast as DeWalt. 79 pumps in 30 seconds for a total of 54 grams or 1.9 ounces. Testing second gear. 244 pumps in 30 seconds is quite a bit faster than the others. 162 grams, which is 5.7 ounces or 11.4 ounces per minute. Milwaukee claims to pump 3.5 ounces per minute in first gear and actually beat that at 3.8. It claims 10 ounces in second gear and actually beat that as well at 11.4 ounces. Remove the canister from the grease gun. Draw the plunger handle back completely and lock it into position. Insert the open end of the cartridge into the canister of the grease gun and tightly reattach the canister to the grease gun. This is the valve that purge the air. I didn't have any problems priming any of the grease guns, but the Ingersoll Rand did take the longest. Battery is fully charged. 
Ingersoll Rand seems very close to the same speed as a Performance Tool brand. 66 pumps in 30 seconds. 35 grams, which is 1.23 ounces. That works out to about just under 2.5 ounces per minute. So the Milwaukee came out on top at 162 grams, Ryobi second at 114, DeWalt 63, Performance Tools 39, and Ingersoll Rand 35. I put together this next test rig in order to test the flow capacity of grease under some pressure. In order to pump grease, the grease has to flow through a grease fitting, and in doing so, it's definitely going to slow down the flow. I attached a grease fitting to this end cap. The grease will flow from the end cap into this pressure relief valve. This is a 150 PSI relief valve, so in this next test, we're going to see how fast grease flows with 150 PSI resistance. The entire test device has been filled with grease. After the 30 second test, I'll scrape away the grease from the very edge of the test device, and we'll see how much grease was pumped. The last couple was leaking really badly, so I'm going to go ahead and use this lock and lube system. In the first test, I used a pistol grip grease pump, and I was able to pump 39 grams in 30 seconds. I'm going to see if I can do better than that with 150 PSI resistance. 44 grams, so I actually did better this time with an extra 5 grams of grease, but that was pretty tiring. Testing the Performance Tool brand first. Performance Tools pump 39 grams without any sort of load and 34 grams with 150 PSI resistance. Testing Ryobi. Without a load, the Ryobi pumped 114 grams and still did very well at 105 grams with 150 PSI resistance. The DeWalt pumped 63 grams in the first test and 58 grams, or 5 grams less this time. So in first gear, the Milwaukee pumped 54 grams in the first test and 50 grams, or 4 grams less this time. In second gear, the Milwaukee pumped 156 grams, which is only 6 grams less than the first test. Ingersoll Rand pumped 35 grams in the first test and did nearly as well at 34 grams, the same as the performance tools in this test. Once again, Milwaukee finished first at 156 grams, Roby 105, DeWalt 58, performance tools and Ingersoll Rand 34 grams. Grease output is a result of pump speed and volume. Milwaukee has by far the fastest pump speed at 244 pumps in 30 seconds. Ryobi was second at 162, DeWalt 154, Ingersoll Rand 66, and Performance Tool 64. Even though the pump speed of the Ryobi and the DeWalt is nearly the same, Ryobi uses a higher volume pump producing 0.7 grams per pump compared to 0.41 for DeWalt. So can Ryobi's higher volume pump produce just as much pressure as the DeWalt's? Each of these grease guns advertises a max pressure of around 7,500 to 10,000 PSI, which is what we're going to test next. This entire setup is designed for 10,000 PSI, which is the max rating for the grease guns. On one end of the hydraulic hose is a grease fitting, on the other end is a 10,000 PSI gauge. The hose as well as this entire assembly is already filled with hydraulic fluid. Testing the Performance Tool brand first. About 6,925 PSI or 477 bars for Performance Tool brand, which is 575 PSI below its 7,500 rating. Testing Ryobi. 8,150 PSI or 562 bars for Ryobi. That's about 1,850 PSI below its 10,000 rating. Let's test a wall. I must not have properly positioned the DeWalt's nozzle on the fitting. Let's try this again. The DeWalt's pressure release valve is opening up at 9,000 PSI, which is 1,000 PSI short of its advertised pressure. Let's test Milwaukee in second gear. About 6,100 PSI in second gear. So the Milwaukee actually exceeded its 5,000 PSI rating in second gear. I'm going to shift the Milwaukee to first gear and see if we can get to 10,000 PSI. Okay, the Milwaukee has achieved over 10,000 PSI. So the Milwaukee also exceeded its 10,000 PSI rating. Testing Ingersoll Rand. About 6,100 PSI with Ingersoll Rand. So the Milwaukee finished first at 10,100 PSI, DeWalt second at 9,000, Ryobi 8,150, Performance Tool 6,925, and Ingersoll Rand 6,100. 
The Power Tools brand just isn't very balanced. You have to really push forward in order to keep the tool in a balanced position. And that's going to cause user fatigue. It does come with a shoulder strap, which seems to work really well with this tool. With the motor out in front of the grease gun, the Ryobi just isn't very balanced. Because of the weight out front, it's definitely going to cause more user fatigue than some of the other brands. Just like the Roby, the DeWalt just isn't very balanced. Most of the weight is hanging out in front of the tool. The strap is providing most of the support to the front of the tool. In order to use the tool, you have to hold it anyway. The Milwaukee is a very balanced tool, and because of that, it does weigh a little bit more than some of the other brands, but it still seems very comfortable to hold. It'd be really nice if Milwaukee would add a shoulder strap to this tool. Just like the Roby and the DeWalt, most of the tool weight on the Ingersoll Rand is out front, and it just isn't very balanced. Milwaukee definitely has the brightest light, then DeWalt, and finally Ryobi. All the batteries are fully drained, so let's see how long it takes to charge them. It's definitely not an apples to apples comparison since there are several battery sizes. However, it's going to provide some very useful information if you're interested in one of these brands. The 5 amp hour Milwaukee was the first to finish at 54 minutes. Ryobi finished charging the 1.5 amp hour battery about 5 seconds later. DeWalt finished charging the 4 amp hour battery at 63 minutes. Performance Tools finished at 68 minutes and 50 seconds. And the Ingersoll Rand has finished charging its 2.5 amp hour battery at 73 minutes and 50 15 seconds. Some categories are very subjective and that's definitely something to consider when looking at this ranking of grease guns. The Milwaukee was the clear winner but it was pretty much a toss up between DeWalt and Ryobi for the second place finish. I really thought it was going to be a lot closer competition between Milwaukee and the other brands but Milwaukee totally dominated the competition pumping grease faster and delivering a lot higher PSI. Regarding which brand came in second place it seems like a toss up between Ryobi and DeWalt. DeWalt delivers more PSI but Ryobi pumps grease a little bit faster. All the videos on this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.